Let's uh, get to the latest on Francine's path. We've been watching this for days. It looked like it was going to be a South Texas problem, but then it just kind of went up the coast like you guys have been it's, saying. It's really going to curve, and Louisiana is going to take the full brunt of this mm. storm. I mean, most of the Texas coast, I mean, there's going to be some wind, there's going to be some rain, but significant problems mm. along the Texas coast uh, don't appear likely at this point. And, you know, the major population center of Houston uh, really doesn't look to see a ton from this storm either. It doesn't take so. a lot to flood there, though. No. Does it, do they get rain out of this? A uh, fair maybe amount? a little bit, but okay. re really, I mean, if they can't handle the rain that's <laughs> that's going to come with then this, we're in bigger trouble. They got yeah. big problems because we're talking, I mean, like mostly less than a minute, inch oh. is what oh, I mean okay. by that. Yeah, really, so they're going to be on kind of the, the west side of the storm, and, you know, hurricanes notorious for kind of, if you, you know, drew a line down the center of the storm, the east side, usually the more damaging side, the more impactful side than the western side. But of course, if you're on the western side, you're still going to get wind and rain and things like that. Here it is at the moment. It has still not become a hurricane. It's still a tropical storm. Wind speeds of 65 miles an hour just off to the east of Brownsville. Going to continue heading northeast here. Will likely become a hurricane sometime tonight, making landfall along the Louisiana coastline during the day tomorrow, basically about the time tomorrow that we're talking to you is when that storm will be making landfall. So, I mean, you know, as the crow flies, it's not too very far away from Galveston and Houston, but I'm not overly concerned with major problems in those areas. I am concerned with issues for, of course, the entire Louisiana coastline and potentially even the Nor New Orleans to Baton Rouge area as well with a lot of wind and rain and even storm surge headed to some of those locations. There's a tropical storm warning for south of Beaumont, but Galveston, Houston, that part of the Texas coastline, not under any sort of tropical watches or warnings at this point, but hurricane warnings all along the Louisiana coast there. Of course, that storm surge will be there 5 to 10 feet. I mean, it's maybe 1 to 3 feet for Galveston Bay, and there could even be anywhere from 2 to 5 feet in and around the uh, New Orleans area with this storm as well. And tremendous amount of rainfall will obviously fall with this storm in Louisiana. But here in North Texas and the majority of Texas, not a ton of rain with this one, but we actually could see a few passing showers or storms tomorrow. So we'll talk about that forecast for you and the heat. It's coming back. It's going to feel like summer this weekend. Hope you've enjoyed false fall while it's been here.